for all our friends and family to be able to watch both of us play on the same team almost every weekend on TV is pretty special and just very rare. Not a lot of kids get to do that. We all are a family. I think that's very fitting today as I go into uh, the Hall of Fame with Kip. I looked up to my family. They paved the way and uh, it's to be here today. So thank you. I thought the environment was great. The fans were uh, really into the game and I uh, thought both teams played really hard. So. It was really a terrific uh, college hockey environment. And Rent Darnell for Michigan State. Comes down into yes. the shoot scores! Rent Darnell! Shot, goal for Michigan State. Jake Chalios, side shot, goal for Michigan State. Dean Chalios. I mean, as early as I can remember, my dad had us around the rink and stuff, and my mom was always uh, watching his games and, and there with him, so. Uh, from as early as I can remember, I've been around the rink and I knew I wanted to play hockey pretty much uh, as soon as I put on skates. Yeah, I think as kids, um, we actually played every sport we possibly could, so we kind of had the choice. I mean, I, if we were going to choose sports to uh, pursue, kind of had a lot of options, so I think hockey's the one that's, that stuck just because uh, the exposure we got to our whole lives and the different things we got to see and the people we got to meet just because of our family. I think for us, I mean, when we were in Chicago, we were really on the same team and I think the funnest part about those games is the 30 minute drive where we got to play video games in the back of the car. So, uh, I mean, I know I was the youngest one on the ice. I played up a couple years, and I was also the smallest one on the ice, so I think uh, he had to jump in there a few times when I was acting like an idiot. So I think that was just the most memorable thing, just going to the rink. I think my mom really appreciated us being on the same team because with four kids in the family and uh, my dad was on the road a lot, it was easier on her. So uh, it's just the whole thing, the whole process of going to the rink, being in the locker room together, and then eventually getting to play together too. It's always really cute when they were playing together. Uh, Jake was always more the looser one, danced to the music in between, you know, just very casual about the whole thing. Dean was always a little more serious about it. You can sort of see that now. He's pretty serious about it now, too. Yeah, I think the people that suffered our most was uh, our little sisters. Um, they just had to get logged around rank to rank their whole growing up, so. We kind of get a chance to pay him back when they're in the high school and they start playing sports. I was always bigger like, than him by a year and a half or whatever in terms of growth, so I was always just stronger and better. Oh yeah, we, we played many sticks up until we were bigger too, and I think we're a little too big, but um, I could go 50-50. I was a little bit tougher in the mini six game, which you need to be, and I ended up winning most of the games. So it really depends which sister you got for playing goalie that game. Yeah. My dad played college hockey, and that was the biggest reason I chose that path. So. Uh, that helped a lot, my dad's influence on it, and uh, you know, after my second year in juniors, I was picking between a decent amount of teams and went on a couple of visits, but Michigan State was an hour away from home, which was a big part of it. Uh, a lot of my friends are here, I knew the tradition of the school, and the fact that they had won it in 2007 so close uh, to when I committed was a big reason too. Intercepted by Jake Chelios, the freshman, teamed up with his brother this year, Dean, the sophomore, son of one of the best Defenseman all the time, Chris Chelio. Obviously having him here was probably the deciding factor in all of it. I don't know, it was just a little bit of everything. Um, my parents actually didn't weigh in on it at all. They let me do it. They, they wouldn't say a word about it, so they let me do my own thing. And Dean was obviously at home selling the program, so eventually I made the choice and I uh, don't regret it, obviously. Well, Jay kept us in suspense. It was down to two teams, uh, Wisconsin and State, and he made us uh, wait an extra day before he announced it. But like uh, my wife said, the convenience factor, being an hour and 15 minutes, I don't think I've missed you know, four games in four years. So uh, it was great that Jake went and made it easier on us. And him and his brother have lived together for three out of the past five years. They get along great. Um, totally opposite, but uh, it works. It's just something a family doesn't get to experience very much. And for them, for this year with the new Big Ten TV schedule and everything, for all our friends and family to be able to watch both of us play on the same team almost every weekend on TV is pretty special and just very rare. Not a lot of kids get to do that. We could not have been more fortunate to not only have them playing together, but to, to be an hour and 15 minutes away, to be able to make it to all the games, it's just awesome. I mean, 
to have two of them out there, almost always someone out there playing, it's just, it's so much fun. I didn't really think it was going to be that big of a deal, but then when he got here and we started dressing together in the same locker room, going out to a crowd of 7,000 people together after growing up and trying so hard and working so hard, uh, it kind of just all came together and, and hit me, and now it's, I'm just trying to soak it all in. I usually like to get a game of bubble hockey in before we go to the ring. Grimes usually plays a 1 4. <laughs> Big B's best. It's good. I don't know, I change it up every day. Used to go Americano, but it got me a little too jacked up. So, ever since I switched to coffee, I've been laying off the penalties. Attack the net, we attack all over the ice, and uh, we go get three points tonight. Focus on tonight. All right? Let's get off to a good start. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Mun Ice Arena on the campus of Michigan State University as Michigan State and Ohio State get ready to renew the rivalry. Out there by McEckard, bet it out in front for Ebbing, tried to tip it up in the air. Dean Chelios comes up with it, down to the goal line, left it out in front, a little scramble oh. for it, pushed just wide to the right of the net. The way got up, skated off on his own, hey! that's a shot, the goal for Michigan State. Lee Reimer took a nifty pass in the middle of the slot and one time did pass Christian Fry, the Spartans have the lead. Here comes Wolf. Wolf on the right wing, got a man in the slot. Hey! Takes a shot, a goal for Michigan State. Scott, it looks like we're going to have yet another shootout involving Michigan State. Well, they both have leadership capabilities. They both are, are guys that people will follow. Both of them get along with their teammates very well. Um, they're, they're very fierce competitors, both of them. Um, and they just go about it in different ways. They're very coachable. They're, they're, um, they're, they're both very open-minded. Uh, you know, I, I enjoy their personalities and, and uh, they're, they're different personalities, but they're very coachable. They embrace anything you bring to them. Uh, if you ask them their opinions, they're you know very comfortable in, in offering them to you as well. And so for me, they've been a pleasure to work with since I've been here. On the Spartans McKinnis Cup, GLI champions. We went in the GLI. Um, that was pretty special for me. It was a big deal. We got to hang the banner um, at Joe Lewis for a full year. And all my friends and stuff that hadn't got to see me play at Michigan State yet as a freshman uh, got to come to that game. And so everybody watching on TV or saw us win a championship at a rink I've been going to since I was, whatever, in sixth grade. So that was pretty special. And then just after he got here, every game suiting up, uh, being able to suit up with him has been pretty cool too. Last year it just came down to it. We had to go to Alaska a couple times in a few weeks and emotions were high and we got that overtime winner. So that was one thing that I thought uh, was really special for our team. The social scene and the friends we've been able to make and uh, just the bonding we've been able to do with our teammates has been big and with him here it kind of puts us together and helps us uh, become a more positive influence on the team and hanging out. It's nice too to know that you're always going to be in touch with someone that you spend so much time with and, and moments with uh, emotionally, you know, working so hard to get up to this point and then playing four years at a college like Michigan State. Uh, with all the support and the 48,000 students or whatever that go here. We didn't take it for granted. Uh, we knew it would go quick and it did. Uh, they're two months or a month and a half away from, you know, either turning pro or graduating. So it's kind of exciting for both of them. But uh, like I said, if you ask them, they wouldn't trade it for anything. Yeah, I think this is something you don't forget it at all. 100% uh, I wouldn't regret a minute or second of uh, my time here. Um, I don't think many people that have gone to Michigan State would, and that's why you come here 
just the legacy of the school and the program. The end of the season is coming near and the end of their college career is coming near. But that night will be a special night and, and I think it'll be even that much more special knowing you're standing out there with your brother. I wouldn't trade in my time here for anything really. Uh, I've had a great time last five years now but overall the setup they give you and uh, the group of people and the staff around here is uh, pretty special. I didn't expect such an honor. I grew up in the Miller family, which here in East Lansing, all we did was come to Spartan events. We all are a family. I think that's very fitting today as I go into uh, the Hall of Fame with Kip. I looked up to my family. They paved the way and uh, get to be here today, so thank you. You know, being a coach uh, is not the easiest job in the world. Uh, and I think that to be successful, you have to have a lot of really good people around you. It's been a tremendous year for Michigan State, Michigan State Athletics, and certainly for many individuals who have been part of Michigan State, and Michigan State Hockey in particular, from winning Stanley Cups to you know playing in the NHL to being inducted into the Hall of Fame. Um, we couldn't be more proud. You know, I grew up watching Irvin Johnson. I grew up watching Tom Ross. I grew up watching Lorenzo White. I grew up watching Kirk Gibson. And, knowing who he was and um, now I'm in a, being inducted into the same kind of thing as them. It's amazing to me. Tremendous honor just to be uh, you know, nominated and then to be inducted and then to have a family member to share it with is uh, really special and I'm happy that uh, you know, other members of our family who have been uh, Michigan State students or athletes you know, can be here and it's, uh, you know, it's, it's just honestly it's just amazing. We talk about the Miller family and hockey and uh, you know, it doesn't matter which one it is, they all belong in the Hall of Fame in, in my book. They, they are so classy as individuals uh, and great athletes. You know, two very well-deserving uh, players and, and family members. I mean, uh, you know, the accomplishments that they had when they were here at Michigan State were, were pretty amazing to be, you know, voted the top player in the country. I mean, that's, that says something not only about them, but also Michigan State's program. And so it was a very proud moment, both as a Spartan and as a Miller. Well, you immediately recognize it's such an elite group. It's such an um, exciting experience, I'm sure, for them and their families, and certainly incredibly well-deserved. Uh, but it, you know, it speaks volumes for, for the program to see people like that have great success. I couldn't figure out why Mark Hollis called me. I was like, what does he want? You know, what do I got to recruit somebody or something? And um, when he told me, I actually was blown away by that. Many of the kids that we that we recruit and that are playing for us now uh, really have no idea of what has gone on before. And so for them to sit there and, and listen to Ryan or Kip talk about you know what their time was like here at Michigan State and and, uh, and and all that and all their you know listen to all their accomplishments. I think it's I think it's important just to give them a, a sense of perspective of you know how great Michigan State hockey and, and what a great tradition it's been. And, you know to have a family member and, and uh, you know following his footsteps and uh, and also to be uh, included in this moment right now and share it with uh, Kip is. Uh, it's pretty amazing. Uh, you know, Michigan State's meant a lot to uh, our family, and it's nice that we can, uh, you know, represent uh, our family in, uh, in in this way. Joining the list of immortals who have left an indelible mark on the game of hockey in the United States, please welcome to the United States Hockey Hall of Fame, Ron Mason. This is really special. I mean, I've been around the hockey for a long time. I've won lots of awards and everything and this and that, but this is something you don't dream about, which I've said, I mean, you dream about maybe winning the lottery or something like that. But you, that's not the way this works. You're rewarded over your career for doing something that's really helped the game. Well, I, I know during the, the time period in particular that Ron was here, the catchphrase he would use was a commitment to excellence. And those three guys, and the honor they received to be inducted into the Hall of Fame embodies excellence. If we play that way, boys, we'll win this hockey game. There's no doubt about it. He had such an impact on my career and really took my game to a whole nother level. And certainly, um, you know, the way we coach as coaches now 
is really based, uh, certainly a lot of my style is based on what I learned from Coach Mason when I was here. Well, Michigan State had everything to offer. And believe me, people, I ran with it. You give it to me, and I'm gonna do something with it. When we took off, we got the right players, we got enthusiasm, we had over 350 completes. He had the right uh, ingredients together to, to you know, have a national, or, or, uh, a national leading program and, and really provided student athletes was just a great opportunity not only in the classroom but also uh, on the ice and, and you know there's so many of them. I mean you look at this wall actually right here behind you of all the players that have gone on to the National Hockey League and it's it's pretty impressive and so you know for uh, him to be honored like that I think is pretty special. When you talk about Ron Mason obviously the tradition of excellence comes forward and that's something he carried out as a coach as well as as an athletic director and uh, had the greatest respect for him. I can remember back to my days as a student in the early 80s coming down to the GLI and I uh, was fortunate enough to ride the elevator with him uh, and it was a big thrill then and today it's a, uh, it's a thrill to sit here and watch him uh, join the class at USA Hockey uh, Hall of Fame and uh, we're very fired up about it. So you know, everything with Ron has is, is always been positive. That's the one thing I respect about him, whether he's, he's working with student athletes, other administrators, other coaches. He's always brought a positive attitude to everything that he does and, and push people to, uh, to, to become the best that they can be. I tell our guys all the time that we didn't come here to be average. Michigan State makes a huge commitment, puts huge resources into helping all of us have great success. And those guys all represent you know, the very best of what Michigan State hockey stands for. Miller coming in, Miller shoots, I still don't believe it today. Um, I just went to school as a kid trying to play hockey for the school that he, he loved. And then I walk around and I've shown my kids the area that the pictures go up and I'm like, hey, I'm going up in here. Brent Darnell for Michigan State. Comes down in yes. the middle, shoots, scores! Brent Darnell, shooter number seven, and Michigan State gets the extra point by winning the shootout one to nothing in seven rounds. Zone and let's win the face-off battle tonight. Let's win the face-off battle. We're going to start with Tino's line. We got Jake and Greg on this. Ryan's line. Then, uh, then Debbie's line. Obviously, we need to get more shots on that. Uh, 
Not sure how many we have, but it didn't seem like more than five, so. Tied at one after two as we get set for third period action. Walks in! Broken away, rebound in front! Puck loose, scrum! And it looks like Hildebrand dives on it. Good win, wrist shot over the net. Hildebrand never saw that, rebound in front, loose! Swept wide, the net is off, the play will stop. Oh, and a breakaway. Reimer in, backhander saved by Scott as he had great positioning. As Cox, here comes number 21, the freshman. All nice little move. Wrist shot saved. Puck loose. Goal! Matt Berry out of midair. And for the second night in a row, Michigan State gets a late third period goal. And the Spartans with a hard fight to the buzzer. 2 1 win. Yeah, the two guys being congratulated Joe Cox and Jake Kilderbrand, the two best players in green here this afternoon. You can't win with just two guys, but two guys can lead you to victory. Those two guys did it.